Guys, I'm at work today. Found a little spot where I can do my pocket dump because uh, oh, Giles called me out and uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm afraid it's going to be terribly uninteresting. So, um, first off, I'm going to pass it along to two guys that I'd also like to do a shout out to. That would be Charles 9mm. He's had, I think, two. Three videos out lately, just bam, 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 that are just great, very shareable videos. Um, one about like piping on a budget, where I showed uh, a site where you can go to um, that has great deals on pipes and uh, nice pipes that you can get for cheap. And um, it was just a great, a great video. Um, go check it out. In fact, I actually just got a pipe that he recommended that he was smoking in his last video, the, uh, the coffee house one. So thank you, Charles. Um, and I'm also want to do a shout out and call out to do an EDC pocket dump to, um, uh, Lindell pipes, um, from Sweden. I think your name is, uh, Matthias. If, if I'm right, Matthias, um, so he just joined the YTPC not too long ago, I think. But he's got some great stuff, and uh, he makes pipes. They're beautiful. Go check them out. His videos are interesting. He likes to actually talk about something when he does a video. So um, that's great. Go check him out, and you guys, you're next. So here we go. Um, I hate carrying things in my pockets. So in my pockets, typically, I have my phone, which I'm doing this video on, and... Um, either my keys or this knife. It's an Excel, uh, uh, just a, a razor knife for work, basically. Um, bam. I like it, it works well. And um, it locks like halfway for tearing boxes open, just ripping them open, so. That's a nice function, and then it's got a real nice switch out blade, and you can just pop, pop your next one in. Uh, this knife was actually gifted to me by a stranger. <laughs> I was helping a lady out who had um, bought some furniture for, from somebody, so I went in my truck to pick up this furniture for her, and the people that were selling the furniture, um, we started chit-chatting and we got along and, and he said, hey, I got this for you. And he gave it to me brand new. It's from his work. I guess he works for this company called Excel. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I mainly just pretty much always use this at work. It's just a work knife. Um, I don't, every once in a while, I'll, I'll take it out with me, but um, pretty much just wear it to work and, and back. But I do carry um, a messenger bag, my man bag. Um, and that's where I keep all my stuff because I hate having them in my pockets. Even my wallet, typically, I'll just keep it in my bag. So I'll dump that out and we'll take a look, all right? <laughs> Got my cob here. <clears throat> Pen, I do a lot of writing. <laughs> my wallet. Uh, my mom just gave this to me, actually. Uh, so, so far, I like it a lot. It's got this, like, uh, aluminum case on it to, I guess, for like security so people can't scan your card info. And then I'm going to pass up my cards, so you can have my cards, so you can let it go. I'll take that home with me. You know, my debit and credit and driver's license. I don't really carry cash. Uh, pipe cleaner. Bristled and non-bristled. <laughs> I don't know, do you guys like the bristled pipe cleaners? I hate them. Uh, <laughs> my keys. Truck, work. Um, I think that's a storage key. Um, LA Fitness. I know it doesn't look like it, but I go to the gym. I do swimming. Um, um, my desktop, my wife's car, and, uh, my dad's shed, work key. Um, uh, lock for my locker at the gym. Um, some icy hot. And, uh, some chapstick. <laughs> Gloves for work. <laughs> this is normally how I carry my tobacco around, so. Because I like to have a variety, I don't know what I'm going to smoke during the day. So I have one jar like this for aromatics. 
and one jar for my Englishes or non amaryatics This is my amaryatics, yeah. This just runs from uh, the House of Calabash down in Oregon City, the um, Steve Books shop. This is the uh, Lady Red's Dark Cherry. Fabulous. Mellow, fabulous, um. Godfather's Own. This is probably one of his more famous blends. If I'm not mistaken, it's like a honey and caramel, honey and maple. Love for supper? This is not the one we got uh, smoking mixture. I actually really did not enjoy this, um, this tobacco. But I use this tin as sort of just like a traveling case. Uh, for chapstick, lighter, Cornell and Deal uh, Bayou Morning, and uh, Cornell and Deal's Cornishman. So I think it's a. Does anybody else do that? I do that. I got my Savinelli 316. It's Byzantium, Cornell and Deal. Great blend. Um, one that I was very surprised that I like because uh, I'm not big on Orientals or Latakia. And uh, this is the uh, Latakia Orientals and Perique blend, but it's fabulous. I've really come to love it, and uh, I'll probably do a review on it in my next video or two. Um, quite cool. I love this quite cool. I know they're pretty common. I think I got this for like seven bucks, but um, it's like super sturdy, uh, well built. Um, I like the look of it. It sits well in my hand. I dropped it so many times on the concrete, you know, but I don't have to worry about that. And I think the tool itself is great. I love this um, long, hard, uh, long, hard, long, hard, thick, or whatever you want to call it. I use it all the time, especially in my corn cup freehand, which is really quite what I really like as a table. Um, you know, the camper, and sort of like a radio tool. Um, on this side, I got um, some pipe cleaners, um, a lighter, some more tobacco. I think that's Cornell and Deal's very good. And uh, these are not Altoid mints. It's just a little tin Altoid mints uh, tin. And inside I got matches. And on the bottom I had a... Uh, a strike pad and I just strike them but I need to put a new one on there. Uh, let's see what here. Uh, my journal and a pen because I, I love keeping a journal and uh, writing down my thoughts and ideas and things I see and stuff like that. So. Thursday the 30th of July. Here's some thoughts I was writing down on uh, Byzantium, so I'll include that in my uh, in my review. There you go. That's all on Byzantium. Great author John Piper, the book Spectacular Sins. It's a great it's a great read. You got it. It's great. Um, uh, something I was working on the other day. It's a sermon I'm translating into Ukrainian, so that takes a lot of time and work. Pipe. Matches, lighter, cleaner. All right, guys. So, like I said, uh, Charles, you're next, and uh, Matthias, you're next. Um, and go check out their guys' channels. Um, they're great, great stuff. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye.